So here we have another little beautiful baby beast from Dee Dee. Redline series again, as you can tell by the uh, stitch around here, is a very big giveaway. Um, so this is the 506. Uh, this has a 400 watts RMS power rating. However, I'll tell you something funny. This uses the same coil as the DD512 500 series all uses the same coil. Now the 500 series, uh, in competition, in a burp situation, two of them took 7,000 watts RMS and burped 154 decibels. And this is the same coil which is in this woofer. So this is a, a very strong uh, coil. Um, obviously not rated for that much power, but uh, it shows that it's built well enough to take there in a short burst, which is just absolutely fantastic okay, for the price as well. Um, so yeah, this is a China Woofer. Um, again, doesn't feel like a China Woofer in the least. It's a fantastic build quality, very solid. A cast aluminum basket here. Uh, the cone is incredibly stiff uh, material. It's, it's a non-pressed material. And unlike some cheap woofers you'll see, which you can deform the cone with your finger, I can't deform that. Um, it's very, very stiff. It just moves the cone. Um, so this has got some serious potential for an incredibly accurate, deep, punchy bass. Um, you've kind of got half direct leads. They are direct, but only by the fact that they are pre-soldered onto here. So it's a solid connection and you've got um, some nice thick gauge cable coming off of them. I love the six inch woofer, it's just so tiny and just beasty, it's like a big stocky little guy. Um, the surround on it is really beautifully soft and kind of foamy, um, it's, it's kind of a little softer than the eight inch from straight out of the box, which is nice, means it'll drop a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, this does need to be broken in, um, it's actually got, if I feel, it's got a dual spider set up, which is jokes on a little six inches. Yeah, there's a top spider here and then there's another one under here. So in, in keeping that excursion incredibly line here, um, and you've got fantastic uh, drilled uh, vents on the bottom here, cooling vents, it's a beautiful build quality. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this up to the Technics, only 300 watts RMS, and we're just gonna see how this moves and get some excursion video going. So you've got the Naruto, Sanus, and Soro on the uh, rebase again. Favorite bass tracks. Such clean movement once again. It feels effortless and powerful and strong. Oh, that is just so nice. Like, I have a fixation with small woofers. Um, this is wonderful. That is a beautiful low as well, straight out of the box, stiff spider, and it's pushing past that stiffness there. He's got great coil of cooling in there. It's not gonna get too hot. Ah, oh, damn, that low is heavy. You can really feel the shaking. This is kind of... Yeah, it's going nuts. It's going for it. This is going to be incredible in a ported enclosure, you know. Wow. No, again. Really impressive stuff from DD. This is just low for the price that this is. I mean, you can get this for next to nothing. It's incredibly cheap. The RRP in the UK is ninety-three pounds, and that's cheaper than um, I remember looking on eBay at the uh, Monaco Raptor six-inch, which uh, only takes uh, something like one hundred and fifty watts or two hundred watts RMS. Um, this is rated for four hundred watts RMS, and as proven by previous tests, uh, the coil can take a hell lot more. Um, so this is an incredibly powerful and um, very accurate. Great value for money, six inch woofer. Uh, I can see some builds going on with these. A large array, maybe six or eight of these woofers um, in tight space um, in, a, in a really custom box and just going absolutely crazy. It's got great potential in this woofer for some serious loud bass at a super cheap price. Now I'm just gonna compare this woofer actually to the DD USA version. So did he do another six inch, which is bloody heavy as well. Um, this is the SW 6.5. Looking at them, I noticed this when I got them out. The SW 6.5 is actually a bit smaller. The SW 6.5 looks like a 6 inch woofer. And the 506 looks like a 6.5 inch woofer. You see what I mean? They're, they're both rated at... Well, they're both... 
I think it's about 6.5s on the on the spec. I mean, this obviously is called the SW 6.5, so you one would think that's a 6.5 inch woofer. Um, but if that's a 6.5, then what's that? And this is called the 506. So, uh, slight difference in size there. Um, the SW6.5 is uh, obviously quite a bit more expensive. Um, this is more of a piece of art. This is this has a much more handcrafted feel to it. Um, it's got a smaller coil in there, so it's going to be more accurate. Um, and, you know, just a bit more musical, a bit quicker, a bit punchier. Um, the motor's very heavy. You've got the DD USA logo on there. So, it's, you know, it's a USA woofer. Um, the... Surround is a little bit smaller. It's, it's it's just a little bit more baby in 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 size and in kind of build um, compared to the 506 here, which feels a bit more heavy, much bigger coil, um, stiffer as well. This is this is very very soft woofer, um, whereas this is a bit stiffer. Um, but yeah, interesting size differences here with how they're named. Uh, here you have the USA and the China budget woofer here.